We'll start off with our spot drilling. This is a piece of half inch stock stuck up in the mill. And then we're going to through drill. This drill is, uh, is the correct size for tapping an M8 by 1.25. It is a stub length drill, so I can use that to do the pre drill as well. Saves myself a tool change. And now we're going to through drill half of the holes. These are the holes that the uh, mounting bolts go through, so they have to have clearance on them. That was quite a bird's nest I had there. Now we're roughing out the bores. I've had a few comments about conventional versus climb milling, and I know there's a difference between the two, and until I do some test cuts on my own, I don't think I'm going to change anything, because my recipe works well and it gives me a pretty good finish. But that is coming. I will do some tests on that. That roughing pass was 0.09 depth of cut, 20 inch a minute at 28.54. And the finish pass, which you just saw, was a full depth of cut, half inch, 20 inch a minute, 4,000 RPM. And now we've got the plates mounted to a fixture plate, and we're cutting out the perimeter. This is the roughing pass. Same speeds and feeds on this, as well as the finish pass, which is coming up that we used on the bores. And here we are with the finish pass. And now we're going to engrave the bore size. Here we're using the tapping head to tap the four mounting holes per plate. And here's a uh, intake manifold. This is a type 1 center mount manifold. Just using it to illustrate how this mounts. And I countersunk those holes off camera. Not because it was a secret, uh, because I forgot to turn the camera off. As you can see, the bore size is different. The manifold was made for a 36 millimeter carburetor, and this adapter plate is for a 44. As you can see, as we tighten those countersunk bolts in, we get a nice smooth finish on the top, no interference. Then we put our studs in. And now we can spin the carburetor around and mount it backwards. On the manifolds like this, where there's material connecting the two bores, you might have some slight interference on that accelerator linkage. Once you get the gaskets in there, it's not going to be that bad, but a little die grinder or something could clearance that out. On this other type of manifold, you could, uh, there is no problem because there's no material to interfere. So that's it, an adapter plate for mounting a Weber carburetor backwards. Thanks for watching.